out with the old and in with the new. Today we are going to be swapping out our old cash binders. Um, these are for my sinking funds, my short-term sinking funds binder, and my long-term sinking funds binder. We will be swapping these out today in today's video. As well, I'm going to be starting my new business binder and starting to assemble that. So if that's what you're interested in, then keep on watching. I am so excited to do this swap finally. I have received the new binders and did some of the new envelopes for the last, you know, couple, three weeks before opening my Etsy shop. And I have been wanting to swap over my old binder into my brand new binder literally since I've received them. So let's do that today. This is our short-term sinking finder and um, we are going to be now using this for our short-term sinking find binder. So what I am going to do just to make it easier is I have all of the envelopes ready in my new binder. So these are all of the envelopes that I do sell on my Etsy shop. These are considered envelopes on my Etsy shop. And then these ones here, I kind of did half and half for this binder to see which ones I really like, or I might just keep it this way. And these ones here are labels and they just fit inside of your A6 zipper envelope. And I just was deciding that I was finding there was so much waste with the vinyl on the envelopes. I love the look, but I was just swapping them out or needed to add one and I couldn't get the same font. I'm type A, so things like that really bothered me. So I just decided to start making these labels to print inside of the zipper envelopes. So hopefully I will have all of the envelopes in the correct order. I did not double check that before I started. But let's start just swapping over our money and we are just literally going to do that. I'm not going to count any of it. We are just going to be swapping it right over into our envelopes. And then when we do our cash stuffing this week, we will be able to then utilize our new binders and our new wallets. You guys, it is so exciting. I love it. I love trying new stuff. I love switching out my envelopes and it just definitely makes makes me happy i i really truly love budgeting i like anything to do with stationery and that is why i started doing these envelopes was to kind of see first of all if i could do it because i am not that creative so for me to try to figure this out i watched a couple of tutorials on youtube and figured it out and it actually it was very difficult and time consuming. Don't get me wrong, but I'm so glad that I was able to like figure it out and, you know, have created such good quality as well too with the things that I have done. So I am really, really loving the whole idea of the labels and making my own envelopes. So hopefully you guys will like them too. I've had I think it's six orders that I've had that I have been working on. I'm done most of them. Um, I will insert a little clip of my latest um, ones that I have done. They turned out so good. I was so pleased on how they turned out, you guys. So thank you so much for the support. I do appreciate any sort of support that I receive um, within my small business on Etsy. It is definitely hard to create an income from that and it is a lot of work to create all of the homemade products that you will see on my um, shop. But I did add a couple of new categories with my short term sinking funds. So I'm going to I'm all done with this binder. I will um, put my keychain on this binder at a later time so you don't have to suffer through me doing that. <laughs> but I added a couple of categories in my short term sinking finders. I mentioned I wanted to do one to support small businesses. So when I do um, shopping on Etsy, support other YouTubers and other Etsy shop owners, that will be right here. I also created an envelope for camping. I am not sure if we're going to be camping this year. Gas is so expensive and we do take our camper and our side-by-side, -side, which is like made for off-roading 
and we go out into the mountains, which is about a four hour drive from where we live. And Jimmy pulls the camper with his truck and I pull the side by side um, with my SUV. Plus we take gas in order to um, reuse for our generator because we take our generator out there because it is literally just, it's camping on public land. There is no hookups or anything like that. So we do have to take our generator for the camper. And you know what, we would be spending, I want to say over a thousand dollars to go on a camping trip. Like last year, I want to say it was about $500. So I guarantee you it's double this year. But I wanted to start an envelope just in case we change our minds. And then of course, now we know when Jimmy is going to be going for his surgery and it will be in January. So we will be able to hunt this year. And hunting is expensive. I know we get meals or venison for the whole entire year but hunting is actually really expensive we have to pay um, we have to apply for our tags first of all that's not always a guarantee that we will get drawn for those tags but we apply for them actually during the month of June so we will be applying for them now and then we do get the draws on what we find out that we were drawn for what animal later on in the year um, in October and then we go and purchase those tags for those animals, which can be between like $20 and $40 a tag. Um, and depending how many tags we have is how much it's going to be. And not only that, it's gas money. So we hunt on Fridays and Saturdays during the month of November. And hunting season is open from Wednesdays to Sundays for big game here in Southern Alberta. But we only hunt Fridays and Saturdays. But even then, two days um, out of the week for four weeks, and it's going to be probably at least a hundred dollars a day for gas. You know, it it quickly adds up. We usually try to have at least a thousand dollars to twelve hundred dollars for hunting season. So we will start um, aggressively stuffing this envelope in next week's stuffing. All right, so that is my new binder. This is like I said, my short term. Um, sinking funds. So I absolutely love it. So make sure you check it on Etsy. I have envelopes available as well as these beautiful binders, which I am obsessed with. All right, that is all done. Now let's move on to our long term sinking funds. And that is out of this binder. And we were pretty neat on our nice sleek white checkered binder. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but I am actually not going to be changing over any envelopes. I am going to be using my envelopes that I did get from Save With Tea. I will link her um, YouTube channel in the description. She has also an Etsy shop. So I'm just going to literally be transferring these over into this new binder. And I am keeping um, all of my envelopes the same. I thought that they would look so good in this new binder. I'm going to add my little keychain. This keychain actually I got um, for myself at Christmas time, but it's really, really hard to see. But if you can kind of see it, it is actually Jimmy and my wedding song. You actually will scan it on your phone and it will play um, our wedding song which is almost paradise is our wedding song so i thought that was really cute i got one for each of the girls because each of my girls have their own song as well since they were born um and yeah you just kind of scan it and it will play your song on your phone so it's really really cute so i always keep that attached to my long-term sinking binder and just as a little reminder on why we are doing this you know, for Jimmy and I to kind of create and have a future together and to be retired and really get on top of our finances. So uh, I am just going to transfer all of those over. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my placeholders that I have in here. And I am going to put them here in my little storage envelope here. And because mostly probably this is what I'll be using my um 
place card holders is my long term just because this money is like all of my long term ones so more than likely I don't use a lot of cash out of here I will add money to it every week but rarely do I take cash out of here on a repetitive basis so that is my long term sinking funds binder now so that is all done and then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my business binder. Now my business binder is quite small right now. I have only added a few envelopes, but with time, I think I will realize what I will need more envelopes for. This is just kind of a beginner um, part and things that I can think of that I use uh, for my business. So I decided to go with the small daisy print binder. All of these binders are available on my Etsy shop down below. And let's open this up and we are going to add only four categories to this. So first off is going to be equipment and this is going to be just for any equipment that I need either for YouTube or Etsy. I'm doing this for both for Etsy and YouTube. So that's why I think I'm going to need to add more envelopes such as like shipping, and maybe products, like when I order more products, like um, get some more of the binders, things of that nature is what I'm thinking, but we will play it by ear. Next is going to be expenses. And this is kind of like a broad um, expenses, but as you guys know, if you watch my income from YouTube, I do break it down into percentages. So I will link a video up in the cards for you to watch how I break down all of my YouTube income because I do have another YouTube channel here on YouTube and I break it down with percentages. So that is going to be expenses. Next is giveaways. So I do want to put a little money away every week or however often I decide to, to stuff this. Um, but I do want to put money away for giveaways and that will be for both of my um, YouTube channels, especially once this channel gets monetized, I will be doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway for that. And then lastly is taxes, which um, I usually just transfer it over into my high interest account, but I think I'm going to just put it in here and then once I re re have a thousand dollars in this envelope then I will take it to the bank and deposit it into that high savings account. So that is what I have so far. If you guys can think of anything that I need to add to this binder please let me know down in the comment section but I think this is a good start. I think I'm going to have to add products and shipping though because I do need supplies for shipping as far as like the envelopes that I, um, you know, ship the the um, laminated envelopes in. I have bigger ones as well for if you do purchase binders. So like those sort of things um, are included with shipping. So anything to do with shipping, I would put um, in that envelope. So I think I'm going to add products and shipping so far. But if there's anything else, let me know down below. All right, everybody, so all of my binders are now updated. I am so excited that this finally happened. Like I said, I was waiting to do it for a very long time. So I absolutely love it. So now going forward, you would be able to see my cash stuffings from these binders. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a like and make sure you leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching.